Hello everyone and welcome to Baited Gaming. I am Joe and today we have a special guest Jesse here with us today. What is up? And we are going to continue our playthrough of Fantasy Star 4. So in our last episode we had an epic battle with the Black Magician Zeo in his fort where we only had just Ruin left with 14 HP and he was able to come through with the clutch victory. Mm, mm, I like that. I like that. So after that we, uh, we said goodbye to a couple party members, meaning Grizz. Later Grizz. And Demi, Demi is going to inside Nervous, where she's going to try and get all of Matavia's climate control systems underway. And Grizz is going to go home and take care of her sister. This is going to be a special episode because I'm going to ask Joe so many, so many dumb questions. questions. Yeah. 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 So where we're headed right now is we're supposed to be taking off on our spaceship to the artificial satellite of Zalan. But before we do that, we're we going to have a spaceship. Yeah, we've got a spaceship. Is it a Dodge? It is a Dodge. <laughs> But first, we're going to go over to the Hunter's Guild and we're going to take a mission because uh, we get quite a few weeks before we leave. So we're going to head up north here in the city of Iowa. I Aida. really appreciate whoever built this town putting the big sign of a bed on front on the front. Yeah, there. And that's how you really know. helps helps the villagers know where the. Uh... You know, it's funny what I always think about in RPGs, hmm. random musings or whatever. But <laughs> you always think about the shopkeeper just chilling there because you know he's just waiting for you. He's just waiting for you. He's just it. waiting for you. So the whole time he's just like, man, where is Joe? All right, so we got our mission to go to the city of Monson, where apparently a child has fallen into a crack in the earth. So we're going to go head over there and find out what's going on. Can you name people in this game? Uh, no, you can't. Ah. So ah. That's why they're all their basic names. Ah. That's unfortunate, because I had a lot of dumb names we could have... Uh, body blocked by the old lady. Yo, I hate getting body blocked. I, re I appreciate these people. They make it so you, you don't get confused. Mm-hmm. So, yep, now we're going to talk to this person. Apparently her son Talus has fell into the crack in front of their house, so we're going to go down there and That's do a little bit of investigating. And she's in the house? Yeah, she's just in the house. Like, doesn't she's even a, care? I mean, she probably cares, but she's a little nervous to go into a huge crack in the ground. I feel like if I had a kid and he got stuck in a crack or fell down a crack, I feel like it just ends to be, well... Yeah, we're going to run from these On guys. second thought, if they're a weird snail, Snoo slime... Ooze, snooze, whatever they are. Oh, they don't have... What the heck? They're ooze, the junior ooze. Ooze, ooze junior? <laughs> yeah, junior ooze. All right, all right, that's... Yeah, we don't want to fight them. We don't want to fight ooze juniors? No, we don't fight anything. We run from everything. I feel like... We run from all these things. Okay. We just like, want the big boss EXP. I was about to say, I feel like we so just... So this is the boss right here. Oh, is this uh, Ooze Senior? Yeah, this is Ooze Senior. Let me make sure I'm we got I'm our... I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. We can run with this. I just want to make a statement that sure. there are just no good parents in this whole scenario. No, in this whole planet, there's no good parents. I'm also going talking on. about Slime Senior here. He's yeah, Slime Senior is just chilling. <laughs> he's, he's, his kids are running around <laughs> just trying to kill people, and he's just, like, chilling in the corner like... All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk to Slime Senior, and uh, we're going to beat him down and try and get the kid out of him, because apparently the the kid has been eaten by this guy. Oh, man. So we're going to use our macro. We're going to put up uh, D-Ban. Oh, that's something. right. Good old macros. Yeah, D-Ban makes it so that we reduce the physical damage done to us. Gifoy is what he's weak to. He's weak to fire. So we're going to keep hitting him with fire. And we'll do a little bit of healing. So your beard's looking pretty epic today. Man. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to keep growing it out. I forgot to brush it today, so it's looking a little scraggly. Mm. Mm. But the main idea is we want to keep everybody alive here and get full EXP for everybody. So we're going to have to heal up after that. We're going to use the wood cane now. If you didn't know, just the wood cane is just like the heal staff. Oh, busted. But it's only but for single target. How much does it heal? What about 30? Oh, that's not good. She just got one hit. I feel like we're in dire straits right now. No, we're fine. We just lost, lost Cat Lady. She's okay. She's about to come back up. Oh, 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 I forgot. We're not playing Final Fantasy 1 where you can't revive anybody. Yeah, she's alive. She's, 30 she's dead points. again. Oh, God. We're going to bring her back again. Jazz is going to heal the himself. strong feeling she's going to die again. As long as she... If he does the AOE, she'll probably die. Yeah, we were fine. She yeah. should go first. Oh, I forgot. You know why she died? Is there died? a speed stat in this? Yeah, that's why she died because I didn't... Some sort of yeah speed thing. Yeah, it was a speed thing. Hmm. Well, we don't some, want Rune to die because Rune's our guy that can only—he's the only one that can bring people back to life. Yeah. So we got to heal him first. And if Cat Lady dies again, see that's why we need to heal him. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, the there's a broken code in this game where the enemies have a high amount of agility, and if there's a certain amount of agility over what your team has, 
they crit a lot. Like every boss in this game crits a lot. So it's a good gonna... thing they named it so I know what's going on because I was really hoping that G f something rests. Yeah, res restore. Yeah, no, I know. They just wanted to make it difficult. Jesus Christ. I mean, this is a JRPG, right? So it's yes. they had. They, they, I mean, it's probably some translation oh BS. Oh God. You're just getting that man's beat four. down. That man's all right. Four. Rika usually goes first. Hopefully she goes first. Uh, we'll just cross cut. So this is episode four, right? Yeah, We're this is episode approximately four. an hour and a half into the game. How yeah. fast do you normally beat this game? I can, without speed running the game, I could probably beat it in about five to six hours. Okay. So we're on good pace right now. Actually, running a little faster. What about speed run? Do. How fast is the speed run? The speed game? run of this game can go from anywhere to three to four hours, depending on RNG. And RNG is really, really brutal in this game, as you can tell from this one fight here. You can't just like grind for a few. And you can, but grinding is not optimal in this game. Let's see now, we've just got mean, a bunch of levels right here. What do you mean by not optimal? Like you don't need to. Like to kill the bosses, you don't need to grind. Like you can, but it's not useful. Like the in this game, the trash mobs are harder than the bosses. Oh. Like the trash mobs are way more dangerous. All right, so we saved the kid from Slime Senior, and he just runs away. We don't even escort him. No, he's just gonna he's gonna bail out. I feel like he got home. Don't worry. Oh, he got home. Don't yeah, worry. Don't worry. So we're gonna teleport. This dude out. got stuck in a crack ran. Yeah, we're fine. I have a lot of problems with that. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we're I good. forgot to go to collect our. We gotta the, collect our monies. From, yeah, from the crack fight. From Aido. We fought the crack guy. Oh wait, we gotta go talk to the lady first. Jeez, I forgot so many things. Let's try this again. Let's go talk to Lady Face. Yeah, at least you have teleport. That's yeah, I fun. have teleport. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to Lady Face. Is it like Earthbound send... where you can only teleport to places you've been before? Correct. So that's why we go to every city on the map. Okay, so she's gonna send our money over to the guild. We're gonna teleport over like, there. So collect. I, I've I played this game a long time ago, but I feel like this is one of those games I had to play with the walkthrough because I don't listen to anybody and I miss triggering events. And I feel like there's so many triggering events. Well, there's actually not that many triggering events. There's there's a few, especially in the next planet that we're going to. There's quite a few. Yes, next planet. We're going to a different planet. We're going to a different planet. I is it Earth? It is not Earth. We are Earth in this game has technically been destroyed. Yeah. So, the people that look like humans in this game, they're what's called Parmanians. And the Parmanians used to be on a planet called Parma over 2,000 years ago. But, the planet was destroyed and one spaceship got off the planet of Parmania. Superman. Goku. Yes. Superman versus Goku. Correct. That's a good battle. Alright, so we got our money from that. Does Fantasy Star 1, 2, and 3... Explain all that. Yes. And the story is go one with... The, okay. Yes. Except for okay. 3. 3 is a little strange. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was Final Fantasy-ish. So we're going to gonna head over back to the city of Kateri, because that's where next to our spaceport. Yes, we have our own spaceport right here. And these cool things just heal you back to full. Give you oh, full health nice. and mana. See, I feel like grinding... With that, grinding seems easy. It is. It's very easy, but you don't need to do it. Uh, just like so we're going to head over to the artificial satellite Zalon, and we're going to go meet up with uh, Rika's other master, whose name is Ren. Fly with me, come fly away. Yeah, so you can cut, you can skip these cutscenes, but I, I like them. I think they're pretty nifty uh, looking. As he skips As them. I skip it. As you skip them. So there's our, there's our, our satellite that we're going to. That's a satellite. That That's a satellite. Make, okay, all right. So this is a bad satellite? No, this is good. Oh, I thought we were going to fight people. No, he's a good guy. We're going to grab all the chests over here. There's going to be lost. three on this side. Plasma dagger, Ooh. plasma claw, Ooh. plasma sword. That's weapons for everybody. Yep, and there's going to be weapons and stuff on the other side, too. Why are we not equipping them? We're going to. After we get everything. That's, there's nothing interesting there's there. There's nothing interesting. He looked at a wall. We don't yeah, need to equip that, them that just a second. Interesting. We're not fighting anything just yet. Mm. So we're going to go up here and we're going to talk to this big old android up here. His name's Ren. He doesn't look that big. Oh, he's huge. He's joining the team. See, right there. Wow, you're huge. All right, never mind. He's huge. In Verity, my name is Ren. So, basically, he's the other person who helped create Rika. And he has been trying to assist in getting Motavius' climate back under control. He's got a weird face. He does have a weird face. <laughs> Can we talk about that face? Uh, we're not what is talk this? About it. He's got he's got like weird metal chops. He's I an don't... android. 
Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like he's an android. It keeps his face together. Oh, he just in case. Yeah, just, just in, in case. case somebody like yeah. uppercuts him, his face just like, nah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm just cool. in case it keeps his face okay. together. Like uh, so he's gonna say that no, Zalan hasn't been running any abnormal commands. It's coming from the other satellite, Kiran. So we need to go to Kiran and shut down that one down. It's usurped all the controls, so we need to go. He's like half ass Iron Man. Yeah, he's, he's got the Iron middle Man. thing too. Mm-hmm. Do they tell you what that is? Uh, no, they oh. don't. They don't elaborate on that. It's just his body armor. Yeah, but like it's weird that it's red. The so part. Rika's like completely enamored by Ren. She's like super happy that he's gonna come with us and help us out because apparently he's a big I feel old like Ren badass. Ren is not useful. He's super useful. He's one of the best characters in the game. I'm just kidding. I, I knew that. Yeah, he's our, our our fourth permanent party member. <laughs> so we finally have our full permanent party, which is gonna be Rika, Chaz, Rune, and Ren. And the fifth slot is just a revolving door of nobodies. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna have somebody that we're gonna make our permanent fifth person, but uh, there is nobody that is like you can select from any of the characters at the end of the game. So we're gonna I, go ahead. And I we're think gonna, we should go with the dumbest one possible. Uh, the dumbest one possible, Raja, mm. the healer. Mm, I we like don't that. need another healer. So we're gonna go ahead and equip the things we just got. Uh, Rika is gonna equip the plasma claw in place of the saber claw. Chaz is gonna put that. Plasma oh, this sword game doesn't on. have the equip best. No, you don't need it. And we're gonna put. The you don't need sword. it. It makes the equip best is. We're gonna make a quick macro. Absolutely the best thing. There were uh, so many things in progression in role playing games that made things easier. The the buy and equip at the shop. The do you want to sell it here? Yeah, you don't get the, any of that in this game. Uh, you know the auto equip or equip the best. Um, showing I don't know if this game has that, but I because it's been a while. I haven't played this game in a while. With the uh, showing who can wield what. No, you just know. You just have to know. Oh, you just know. All right, so we're gonna head over to the artificial satellite Huron, and if you listen closely. Something seems amiss. It sounded like somebody farted there. It did sound like somebody farted. But unfortunately, there's something going on from the engine room, so we're going to go check it out. So uh, Some investigation. Yeah, we're going to do some investigation. And there's a dude. Oh, why is he there? He's been found out, so we need to uh, we need to beat him down. He looks like a bird He's man. trying to stop us from getting to the artificial satellite Quran, so we're going to bring him macro him out. Yeah, okay, great. Agility down. Don't care. Agility is speed. Agility is speed, but he already wins, so now all of my guys are going to go, and he's going to be dead. He clearly messed he's up. He's not a boss fight. He's no. just a he's a he's a trash mob in the air castle. Doesn't make sense. Why would they attack you with a trash mob? Because he's trash. They thought that he could just sabotage us and get away with it. So, unfortunately, our plane is out of our plane. Our sp spaceship... I mean, it's a plane. Essentially, it's a plane. Yeah, by our definition. Our spaceship is I out of commission, like and... Um, Boat? Yeah, we're going to have to crash land into the next planet. Yeah, so we're going to have to crash land on, on Dezolus. It's a good thing this guy's got face helmet. Yeah, he's, he's so fine. Chaz is freaking out. Rika's like, yeah, this is awesome. Woo! How would Chaz be? Oh, because he's a human-y thing? Yeah, he's a human-y thing. Rika's like, this is awesome. Crash landing. So we're going to crash on the snowy planet of Wait Dezolus. Is that just fire in space? Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense. Don't ask questions. Okay. All right. I don't know. I figured you Let's had an answer on. for that one. Let's just assume that in this in this universe you can have fire in space. Okay. I'm gonna assume that and also. Okay. So we've crash landed oh into somebody's temple. Into somebody's. They're just... Yeah. Right into a temple. We just crash landed onto it. This is the worst Jehovah Witness situation ever. We yeah. So we went uh, right in the front door. He's like, hey, <laughs> hey, you you landed on my temple. So everybody's safe, and he's like, huh. Piccolo! Yeah. Huh. It's raining machines. That guy's got good jokes. Yeah, he tries to use... He, he has a lot of puns. He can't see he's, anything. He's probably one of the worst characters in the game, but he's hilarious. I, I find Raja's puns to be amazing. Oh, Raja's the guy we were just yeah, talking about. Yeah, this is that guy. Mm, this guy right here. So the, the reason why he's... Can't name him Piccolo. The reason why he's bad is because he's super squishy, um, all of the healing that he does can be done by Rika, and the only useful two abilities that he gets are not that useful because you don't need them to beat the game. Which is, he gets this ability called Ataraxia, which rejuvenates MP for your characters. Which is really, obviously it's a great ability, but... Seems good. But however, you don't really need it because you just use items in its place. And... His second ability that's kind of useful is called Saint Fire, which is a really high damage ability, but we don't need any damage because all of our other guys bring damage. So he just kind of is a redundant character. So he sucks. He's, like I said, he has his niche. He's, he the, he's the best healer in the game. Like, is absolutely. Finger laser thing? 
He's absolutely the best healer in the game. Um, if I could make him good, I would make him good. I really just want to make Piccolo drops the remainder of the time. Yeah, that's fine. He, let me, he that's looks fine. like a Namek or he does whatever look like the a Piccolo was. He does look know. like a Namekian. So, yeah. unfortunately, our spaceship is out of commission. Like we, It's beyond repair, so we need to go find another one. We can... Yeah, we're going to find another one. For, rather soon, actually. At this guy's church? No, but he actually knows a rumor in the next town where apparently it's a Parmanian town. Is that the and humans again? Yes, yes the humans. Yes. So he wants to come along with us, but he won't tell us the information unless he comes with us. And also, if he does come with us, he'll overlook the fact that we destroyed the shit out of his temple. Yeah. We, well, he has, so nowhere, we're just gonna, he has nowhere to chill now. Yeah, he has nowhere to chill. All the people are except outside. Except in our broken... No, we, I feel... We didn't, how do we not kill anybody? That not that his temple there? Yeah, we didn't kill anybody how do we miraculously. Oh, my God. Yeah. We got lucky, I guess. So we have to rely on his information. So, yeah, we're going to go to the Parmanian town called Tyler, which is just north of here. Okay, so we're going to head out. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of party reordering once we get control of our guys again. So apparently this huge snowstorm has been going on for three months, and while it's not abnormal for... <laughs> so many snowmen. Yeah, while it's not abnormal for Dizolas to have like abnormally cold weather, like a three-month snowstorm is unheard of. So, obviously we think there's something wrong with the Climate Control Center. Raj is like, no, nah, something's fishy is going on in this place called the Garuberg Tower. And everyone else is kind of like, no, nah, you're crazy, old man. I feel like... Spoiler alerts, it's the Gruber Tower. Nice. So we're going to reorder the party a bit. And we're going to do some we're more We're snowing for three months. I... We're going to take this guy's stuff because he's not going to be with us very long. I feel like I would move. <laughs> take Anywhere else. Stuff, put it onto... That's all I'm put that onto Rune. And we're going to head north. Okay, so we're going to make a quick stop here in the town of Rayuan. We need to talk to the bartender. It's one of those triggering things that nope, Jesse would never figure it out. Nope. I'd be lost. I'd be running around. I'd grind for like three days. Yeah, so we got to talk to this guy. we got to talk to the other Namek guy. Yeah, another Namekian. So we don't want to know about the snowstorm. We don't want to know about the Gruber Terror. We don't want to know about Raja. But yeah, we want to know about the whereabouts of a spaceship. I feel like it's pretty relevant to us. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, we're talking about the spaceship underneath Tyler. Tyler! Oh, so apparently one. it's underneath the grave. Oh, and I triggered is, this again. Is he running it down mid? He's he's definitely running it down mid. <laughs> Big brother running it down mid. He's got a dumb face too. Okay. So we're gonna head out of here. Oh, everybody's green up in this joint. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to the human town of Tyler, which is just up to the northwest here. No. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna run. What the snow snowman is that? Oh. Snow moles. Snow moles. Yep. Yeah, so we've reached the town of Tyler. This is where Santa Claus is? This is where Santa Claus is. So we're going to head over to the grave site in the west over here. I really hope this is not the Santa Claus from Futurama. It's not him. That's it. He's going to kill us. In the so face. if we didn't talk to that guy back in Ryuan, then this triggering event would not happen where we would find a button. Trigger. So now we can move this gravestone apart and we can go downstairs. Okay, so we're in the hangar. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder what's in here. I wonder what's in here. That guy. So we're gonna. Oh, we got a surprise attack. Giro Tulux. Yeah, frog guy. Uh, yeah, we got. I mean, we got a surprise attack. We might as well fight him. That's a frog guy. It's frog guy. Giro Tux, aka frog guy. I mean, they look like frog guys to me. They look like frog guys to me, but I. Feel I don't like, know. Beat them with your stick. I feel like they should just call them frog guy at that point. <coughs> and run. Run is overpowered. All right. So now that we got that, we're gonna set up a macro for because we're gonna do a little bit of fighting on the way to the next boss. So we want Rune to use Gra, which is a lightning attack. Ren's going to attack, which is he has AoE attacks. And then everyone else is just going to attack. So, because the first two should kill everything. We're not going to fight here. This is not the place to fight. It's going to be on uh, the, the next... I feel like running is pretty easy in this game. Uh, if you get lucky. Like, you can get really bad luck and you I feel like we wiped. haven't got unlucky yet. Not yet, which is good. Ooh, ooh an open box. Yeah, we don't Have care you been here? That. No. It box is, is always open. Because remember, this was it once inhabited, so they're trying to oh. just point that out. They want you to know. Yeah, they want you to know. So we've had another spaceship. That was quick. Now we got to get it running. It's already running. It's already good to go. running. It's good to go. I feel like we got pretty lucky here. Yeah. Good thing we ran into Raja. I don't think Piccolo was there. Yeah. So now we're going to have call, another how, spaceport from the ground. How do you call him anything but Piccolo? His name is Raja. Yeah. He's like the tiger from Aladdin. Yeah, not even close. He's like the Piccolo from Piccolo. 
So we're going to head to the spaceport. And Healing. We, free uh, heals. What's the right one give? Same thing. Oh. So before we go, we're going to save. Because Wait a second. Why is there two then? It doesn't want on each side in case you like left or right better. Okay. All right. That's a ridiculous reason. So, <laughs> you didn't question that? You were uh, like, okay. you're like, it does the same thing. You're like, why is there two? Why wouldn't they just put one? I don't care. So we're going to the artificial satellite Quran, and we're going to try and look for the source of the malfunction. I would yeah. question everything. i got to question everything. Yep, so we're going to go to the main control center. The only things that we really want to fight here are the Rippers. Ah, the rip look at them. them. Here they are. Oh, man. Those guys look like they're from... They're from yeah, they do a little bit of deeps, but... Uh, they look like they're could from be like worse. Resident Evil or whatever. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Yep, and he does AOAC, so we get pretty decent EXP from those. And we got Meseta. Yep, so... Dollars. We get our first AOE heal from Raja, which is the ability SAR. Yeah, SARS gives you wow, AOE healing. Wow, that's... Mm -hmm. Alright, okay. There, I feel like there was a translation error there. There probably could have been. Yeah, we don't want to fight these guys. Those guys are dangerous. Now, I don't remember the entire route through this dungeon that well, so we may We're going to get lost. We probably are going to get gonna lost. lost. Alright. Uh, if we go down here, I think there's a repair kit in the chest. Yes, we want to fight this. What does repair kit do? Repair kit, if an android is dead, heals him to full. Oh. So, Ren. So, Raja's dead already. <laughs> It's okay, he's supposed to die. We don't need him alive. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, you have split XP between the four, peop the four right, people. Right, the four people, because Raja's going to be leaving us very shortly. American. After this dungeon, actually. I'm glad you remember that. Yep. I mean, uh, we can actually wanna... bring oh, him... Oh, yeah, he's not walking. Yeah, he's I mean, just getting dragged. You're we dragging can, his... We can bring him back to life, because he, like I said, he's a good healer for the, this part of the game, so let's keep him up for now. Oh, that's funny that the healing spells heal humans. Yeah, and you can't heal androids with healing spells. You have to heal them with their own ability, which is called Recover. Uh, they're, yeah, we're... They're poking God, me. no, why? That's... We got ambushed. That's what that was. Yeah, I noticed. That was not good. No, it was not. So, Raja, sorry again. Let's keep you... Keep healing everybody. The cool thing about androids is that every step that you take while you're out of combat heals them 1 HP. Oh, that's busted. Yeah. And at the end of combat, if they're dead, they revive with 1 HP. They're unkillable. Pretty much. They're androids. Yeah, but androids are usually just... You can destroy them in some fashion. Yeah, but I mean, the, the only way they can get res in combat is with Repair Kit. And we fight this. Give them that grow. See, that's why we fight that. Because they're easy. And they give quite a bit of EXP. And you don't have to use anything. Exactly. Yeah. I use Gra, which is it's a couple TP, but we're, we don't really need Rune for the next fight. Most of the damage is going to come from Chaz, believe it or not. The blonde hair. Yeah, the blonde guy. The blonde guy with, the, with his hair. No, it's not a mimic. Okay, so we're going to grab... Yep. Armor. Oops. That's the wrong way. You're not supposed to go that way. Yeah. That was a dead end. Slapped. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she lived with two. She's fine. Everything's fine. Now, the bad thing about... The bad thing about Ren's weapon, though, is that it has very low accuracy, so we've been getting pretty lucky. Because, like, he can hit two out of three things on the screen, and then you just get dominated by it. So we're going to equip Ren with that Zerko armor. That's going to give him a little bit more defense. We don't want to fight that. <laughs> Ren retreated and left everybody behind. Yeah, everyone else is behind. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, not that guy. Not Siren 386. Yeah, he does a, a laser ability which hurts a lot. He's a 386 incarnation of the that guy. Yeah, we don't want to fight the 386 incarnation. No. Wow. Uh, we're gonna, oh, yeah. Okay, good thing Rune has two shields on. I was about to say, that guy did one damage. Yeah, Rune has uh, the highest defense on our team. I feel right like now. if we run into that battle again, we should just fight him. It does no, they so? did, yeah, they did no damage to us. Okay, we'll try it. We'll run it. I mean, there was four of them, and we have AOE abilities. I feel like it could be worth our time. Okay, we'll try it out. Uh, I mean, you've probably watched. Yeah, you watched the speed run of this oh, game yeah, many times. So, but they. Dodge oh, we're gonna out. get the special ability here. I'm not, we normally don't get it because it's not that great. Yeah, that, we got ambushed again. That's why we run from that fight. <laughs> Freaking Voltorbs. Yeah, they self-destructed on those. They're the worst. It's a good thing we have Raja, though, because he heals everybody pretty quickly. Oh, napalm shot. That's right. Okay, so we're going to use the napalm shot in the, the, the boss fight because it's fire-based and the boss is weak to fire. We couldn't run. 
Actually, no, he's weak to water. water. Why did I say he's weak to fire? He's weak to water. Let's bring in magic art. Alright, we're getting ambushed a lot. This is yeah, yeah. so unfortunate. Acid breath. As long as he hits Ren, I don't care because Ren just walks and heals. Yeah, Ren is, Ren is very strong. Yeah, like Unbalanced. I said, he's one of our best characters. I feel like Rika has infinite spell points. We don't want to use her spell points. Who do you heal? You're healing with Raja. Yeah, on the walk. And then when we're in the fight, we heal with Rika. Okay. And does he re regain TP when he's walking? No. Okay. We regain TP with that one spell I was telling you about, Ataraxia. Oh, okay. So we cast ooh, that. Ooh. And ambushed again? Yeah, it's oh, all right. That guy's breathing on us. Don't hit Jazz. Leave Jazz alone. Okay. Jazz down. down. That's... We want the main thing that we're doing here is getting EXP for Chaz. Oh, that didn't help. Yeah, so this doesn't help us. Oh, good thing he hit all four of them. I feel like he doesn't miss much. No, I'm actually surprised because he normally misses a lot. That's I mean, he not is, what you want. He is spraying, spraying, praying. I mean, I need some hit points. Then good to go. Gotta heal up Rika. Okay. What level do you beat this game at? You could beat it anywhere from like 30 to 40. Or no, I'm sorry, a little higher than that, like 40 and up. Oh, I think we're at the end. Yep, we're okay, we're at the boss fight. So that's promising. Okay. Over there in the shadows. In the shadows. So we're going to get our first confrontation with the boss known as Dark Force. Yeah, uh, is he one of them dudes that comes back like nine times? Yep. Oh, God. We fight him three times, actually. So we need to make up a couple macros before we start. Here are these ones. So we want Ren to go first, because he's going to put up Barrier. Barrier gives us Magic Resist. And if we don't get that up before he casts Burst Rock, we all dead. Duh. Like, it's like literally one shot. And then we're going to put up our Physical with uh, Rika. Actually, no, I'm sorry. We're not going to do that. We're going to have Raja go next, and we're going to use Blessing. Blessing is the same thing as D-Ban. We're going to have Rika go next, and have her use Agility Plus. Chaz will cast Githu, because he's weak to Light. And I feel like I'm missing an ability. And then flare. How do you not do this every time you play this? I game? know. Just every day. Like the you're in menu and it's just like everybody's just like. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. What is happening? We're, we're out of control, man. Uh, oh, it, it calms down for a bit. Just. All right, let's try this. This guy hits hard, but he's Ooh. not very dangerous. So yeah, this is Dark Force. And it's giving you the boss music. Mm -hmm. No, this is the boss music. You're about to get rocked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's huge. Oh! Damn, that dude skips all day's butt chest. Yep. My god, what right, happened so to the rest of his up. body? Perfect. Okay, so we're good now. So now Raja can go and die, and I don't care. That guy has such... Oh god, Ooh, I right. forgot to equip something. Looks like you're gonna have to run it without it. Yeah, we're gonna run it without it. Flare. Uh you do this. Got heal. Yeah, we're gonna you know who it's gonna be. It's Raja. Yeah. So Gifoy. Isn't that, that dude from uh Big Bang Theory? No, it's just Raj. I know. I'm just naming everything that he looks like and sounds like. There's some damage. Oh, I didn't mean to cross go. Why'd I do that? I didn't mean that was good damage. And, oh, later, Raja. Wow, that was not good. Flare. Double slash. I meant to do this. Githu. Watch the Githu damage when it comes up. Yeah, that was better than... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ryan's good. Yeah, he's going to recover. He's got 16 of them. He can do it. Githu. Uh... Yeah, we want to see single target on the run. That's that's pretty much the goal here. What? We're getting me out of. That's okay. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, that wasn't actually that bad. Flare. Uh, Rika, you saw. I found okay. you a fan. Boss fight's actually going a lot better than I expected. I mean, the guy has no legs. 
It's true. He can't, like, run after you, so... That's true. And I'm uh, glad that Rune is so tanky, he just doesn't take any damage. Uh, Chaz, you need to heal yourself, so I'm gonna use the Wood Cane. The Wood Cane? You're gonna use the Wood Cane, he's gonna heal himself with a cane. Only he's gonna give himself a Das Cane. I feel like that heal for 30 was not effective. It was what we needed, because now he can't get one hit by Flare Shot. This is actually perfect. So, he's got two Geethys left. Is this Grizz? Yep, this is Grizz. Grizz is hanging out yeah. with us now. Yeah. Right, that, was, that was probably the best thing that could have happened was targeting, uh, what's his face? Rune. Rune. Well, you want him to target Ren now. I don't care who he targets, actually, as long as it's not Jazz. Actually, he can target Jazz now. Jazz is out of MP. Or TP, rather. See, this is what we don't want him to use at the beginning of the fight, because that hurts. Yeah, it did a lot. We're out to so, heal. recover. Sar. Chaz, you're going to have to give yourself the cane. And you just keep hitting him. Damn, recover is overpowered. Yep. Goes to full. It just gives you a ridiculous number, but it just means that you're going, oh my god, this is going to hurt. Reek's dead. Have double. Oi. Okay. Recover. Do I have anything that will help here? Napalm uh, No, I don't. Attack. Yeah, we're just going to attack. This is not good. We hope he dies here. Oh, Ren's about to solo this. Yeah, Ren and Rune. God, why do you got to triple burst rock me? Alright, just good. attack. And pray? Yeah, we're going to send attack and pray. I think he's pretty close to dead. Yeah, I knew it. That's <laughs> super tight. That's super tight. <laughs> That's all the boss races. They all get super tight like oh, that. Oh, man. man. Ren and Rune are about to get so much ESP. Yeah, they are. We're going to do a little bit of grinding for Regan Chaz now. Got that DM. Yep. So now we've, uh, oh. we've destroyed the Thanks. Dark Force on top of the Curan satellite. And Chaz is a little curious as to why Rune knows about the monster dark force and he's like oh, you know what I've seen it before yeah, you know no big deal what do you mean like, just chill man it's cool I'll tell you about it sometime later so Ren's gonna go ahead and uh, restore the functions on the artificial satellite and we're gonna go back to the uh, the other one of Zalon so we can do some final adjustments and see if we can end all the mayhem that's been going on so we're gonna go back to Zalon and revive our idiots yeah we're gonna revive our idiots by stepping on a platform either one Mm -hmm. So everything's okay now. All the maintenance systems are working properly. But the snowstorm hasn't stopped. And Roger's going to be like, I told you! <laughs> See? <laughs> I told you! He hit you with that all caps, too. Yeah. It's the Gruber Tower. It's the demons. So we're going to get our second vehicle of the game, which is going to be the Ice Digger. We're going to be able to go through Ooh. blocks of ice. And the, uh, like I said in the previous video, the vehicles are super overpowered because with any encounter that you get into, you get a 100% runaway rate in, while you're in a vehicle. So, we're I all mean, gonna... It makes sense. You're driving. Just, yeah, just, just like, later. keep going. Like, <laughs> don't stop. Take on no hitchhikers. Okay, so we're gonna head back to Dizolus and get the ice sticker. Do you like... Do they, yeah. I feel like this green guy let us do this backwards. Well, he told us it was the Gruber Tower. We just didn't believe him. But uh, you couldn't have believed him. Yeah. So now the Dark Force is dead, and we're gonna head back to Zolus. I think it's a good point to make a cut in the video. So again, this has been Beta Gaming. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and we'll be back next time. I I, I will definitely bring more dumb questions. Yeah, Jesse will definitely bring I will more bring dumb questions. Maximum dumb questions. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Have a good one.